Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Arduino Opta PLC Function Block Diagram, FBD. The Arduino Opta IoT PLC offers a convenient way to program it using the Arduino PLC IDE in Function Block Diagram, FBD format. This is a simple and intuitive method and is one of the industrial PLC languages. In addition to FBD, you can program the Opta PLC using any of the five official languages specified in the IEC standard and sketches written in C++. The Function Block Diagram, FBD, is a graphical language used to design programmable logic controllers. It allows you to describe the function between the input and output variables using a set of elementary blocks. These blocks can be connected to input and output variables using connection lines. When wiring the inputs and outputs of a block, you can use single lines to connect two logical points in the diagram. This includes connecting an input variable to an input of a block, connecting an output of a block to an input of another block, or connecting an output of a block to an output variable. The connection lines are orientated, carrying associated data from the left to the right. It is important to note that the left and right ends of the connection line must be the same type. In addition, you can use multiple right connections, also known as divergence, to broadcast information from the left end of the connection line to each of its right ends. However, it's essential to ensure that all ends of the connections are the same type. Now that we have a basic understanding of the function block diagram, let's dive into starting a new project and mapping the physical I.O. in the Opta PLC. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Start a new project. Our project will create a start-stop circuit with two lighted push-button switches using Function Block Diagram FBD programming. When the green LED push-button is selected, the green LED light will turn on. This will remain on until the red LED push-button is selected. When the green LED light is on, the red LED is off and vice versa. The CPU green LED will be on if the Arduino Opta PLC is executing its program. Open your computer Arduino's PLC Integrated Development Environment or IDE software. Start a new project by selecting New Project on the main software screen. A second method of starting a new project is to select the New Project from the main menu file. The third method is to choose the icon for the new project. The new project window will now be displayed. Enter the name of the project in the dialog box. This will be the name of the program stored on your drive. We will leave the default directory as it is. Ensure that the Opta 1.0 PLC is selected for the target. Select OK. This now will create and save your program file for the Opta PLC. Mapping Physical I.O. in the Opta PLC The Opta has physical inputs and outputs we must map before using them in our project. In the Workspace window, select the Resource tab at the bottom. Under Local I.O. Mapping, you can see all the physical inputs and outputs on this controller. Select Programmable Inputs. The Programmable Inputs mapping will be displayed. We can assign a variable to each of the inputs we intend to use in our function block diagram. Under I.O. Type, we can select Digital, which is the default, or Analog. The Analog Resolution can also be selected for the inputs. Select Relay Outputs that display the Relay Output Mapping. We can once again assign a variable to the relays that we will use in our function block diagram. Select LED Outputs which display the LED Output Mapping. These are the status lights on the Opta CPU unit. We will make these represent the relays in our program. Assign the variable name to the LED outputs that we will use. The Opta PLC also has a front LED that can be different colors. We will assign the green output to indicate the Opta PLC code is scanning. 
Now that all of our mapping is complete, we can save the program using the icon on the main menu. We can also save the program using the main menu, File, Save Program. Wiring of the inputs and outputs. We can now physically wire the two lighted push button switches to the inputs and the LEDs of these switches to the outputs. Here is the wiring diagram of the Arduino Opta PLC. The positive 24 volt DC signal is wired to one side of the green normally open switch contact. It is also wired to one side of the red normally closed switch contact. The other side of the switches are wired to input 1 and 2 respectively. The positive 24 volt DC signal is wired to each side of the switch lamps. Relay outputs are provided on the Arduino up the PLC. The other side of the switch LED lamps are wired to one side of the relay for each switch. Green will be the output 1 and red will be output 2. The other side of the relay output contact of the PLC will be wired to the 0 volt DC signal. This completes the wiring of the PLC. Tasks in the Opta PLC. To access the tasks in your project, navigate to the Project tab and locate the task folder. You will see the list of IOs we have just mapped for this project. Expand the folder by clicking on the plus sign next to it. The tasks are categorized into Fast, Slow, Background, and INIT. To configure the task, right-click on any of the four tasks and select Task Configuration. Your programs will be executed within the designated task folders. The Fast Task folder will execute your program cyclically every 10 milliseconds or 100 times per second. This can be changed by clicking the control period to Yes. You can then enter a value in the period column in milliseconds. The majority of programs will be placed in this folder. The slow and background task folders will also scan cyclically. They are both set at a fixed period of 100 and 500 milliseconds, which is 10 times per second or 2 times per second. These tasks are ideal for functions like math equations, etc. The INIT or initialized task folder sets variables or conditions in the PLC after it powers up. It will run for a single scan. Select OK to close the task configuration window. Starting a new function block diagram program. Select Project, New Object, New Program from the main menu to start a new program. You can also do this by right clicking on the project name and selecting a new program under the Add heading. The new program window will be displayed. We will use a function block diagram or FBD in our example. Select FBD. Name the new function block diagram program and assign it to the fast task folder. The program name cannot have spaces. Select OK. Our new function block program will now be displayed in the work area. This program also appears under the fast task folder and in the projects as a function block diagram symbol. An FBD toolbar can be displayed by selecting it from the main menu. View Toolbars, FDB Bar. In the Help menu, you will find all the operators and their parameters that can be used for the function block diagram programming. Save the op the PLC program. Programming our function block diagram. 
FBD. The first block of code will turn on the CPU LED light. To do this, we will add two constants and ensure they are equal to turn on the LED. Select the K icon on the FBD toolbar or in the first block workspace, right click and select new object constant. You can also use shift plus K to enter a constant. We will add two constants. The value of the constant defaults to zero. Double click on the constant to change the value. We will change both these values to one. Select new block, shift B on the FDB toolbar. You can also do this by right clicking and selecting new object. Under the object filters, select just the operators. Select the equal EQ operator and select OK. Clicking on the workspace will place the operator on the first block. You can move this around by clicking and holding left mouse button on the EQ operator. Select the variable Shift plus V from the FDB toolbar or right click and select new object variable. The new properties window will now be displayed. Select the three dots next to the input selection. Select the LED green variable from the object browser and select OK. The object properties window will now show the variable. Select OK. Our variable now can be seen on block one, but it is facing the wrong way. Right click on the variable and select switch direction. Select the connection icon on the FDB toolbar or right click on the workspace and select the connection mode. You will also notice that when this workspace is selected, you can hit the space bar. The mode will alternate between insert move and connection modes. Select the starting point. The objects in the workspace will show a green box. Left click on the box, select the end point. A dotted line will be displayed. A green box will appear on the different objects. The cross mouse will turn into a crosshair that indicates that a connection can be made. Left click to complete the connection. Right click on the network number and select new network after. We can now enter our circuit's function block diagram FDB based on the information previously. If we have input one green push button or output one LED green and input two red push button normally closed, then output one and LED will turn on. If output 1 is 0, output 2 and LED 2 will turn on. Save the program by using the icon on the main menu or selecting Save Project from the main menu file. Download the function block diagram program to the Opta PLC. Select Setup Communication from the main menu online. In the Device Link Manager window, select Modbus TCP and then select Activate. Select Properties. We can now enter the IP address we established in the following post. Programming the Arduino Opta PLC, Ethernet port, our communication method with the Opta PLC is now set. Select the connect button. We will now see that our computer is connected to the Opta PLC controller. Select the download icon on the main menu. Since we didn't compile the project first, the PLC IDE prompts us before downloading. Select yes. The output window will display the status of the download operation. When this is finished, the bottom right side of the software will show you that the PLC IDE and the controller programs are the same. Monitoring the function block diagram logic and variables. Select the live debug mode on the main screen. This will show you the status of the inputs and outputs of the FDB function block diagram. Select the watch window on the main menu. This will display the watch window. 
We can enter and select the variable or tags we want to monitor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.